Oil and gas companies are used to operating in challenging conditions. Not only are plants often in remote locations that could be vulnerable to extreme weather or political unrest, but workers face risks of severe industrial accidents. So it's not surprising that the industry has been among the first to adopt drone technology. So the oil and gas industry is using drones in, in primarily kind of four areas. Uh, one is around uh, reducing risk of employees around inspections. And one example of that would be inspecting a flare stacks, which is a quite dangerous endeavor. I mean, the second area that we see drones being used is a really around uh, emergency response. Um, so you see this in fire departments today, in police departments, where they'll send in a drone to see if the situation is stable, to see if it's safe for people to go in. Uh, one of the main areas that drones are, are being uh, very useful today is around pipeline inspection. And there's a couple different dimensions to why they're useful there. Uh, the first aspect is pipelines, of course, are very long, and today you have to inspect them either manually by walking down or you use a very high flying uh, aircraft, which you can't get the same level of inspection done. But the other interesting thing that they can be used for in some parts of the world, like Russia and Africa, that drones are being used to monitor the pipelines uh, for, uh, for theft. But using drones is not as straightforward as it sounds. Operators need specialist training to fly the drones and to analyse the data they collect. Well, this, this is our starter drone. This is sort of your, your learner car drone. Yeah. So the, the pilots that we bring on board will spend up to 16 hours at our training academy learning the principles of flight and learning how to operate a drone using sticks. So we don't use um, tablets. and That's very much a 2D control of an aircraft. We're interested in 3D um, safe flying and safe control of the drone. So this aircraft is the training aircraft. Uh, and once they've passed uh, a number of rigorous tests um, and proven that they are competent, capable and safe, they then move on to the, the main drone that we use, which is our inspection drone. This is a much more expensive, um, much more capable drone. It can fly in winds of up to 50 plus kilometres an hour. Not only do drones make things safer for plant inspection teams, some argue they do the job better. The technology we use is, it's a flying camera, so it's replacing um, abseilers and, and um, people on scaffolding to inspect structures. So that typically requires a team of four, whereas at the moment we have a team of two. So in that case we're reducing the, the demand for people um, in half, um, so therefore you could say we're reducing the risk uh, in half as well. With companies increasingly looking to limit the risks that they face, we are likely to see more use of drones in the future. Angelia Raval, Financial Times, London.